Hello guys, welcome back to another video. A lot of new improvement has been updated recently to all of our courses with new bypasses and some other courses which you can see the sneaker bot courses yes guys it is finally here you guys have been asking it for so many times then here it is on top of that we have just lowered our prices for all the courses simply don't buy the courses from here but simply click on the button and it will redirect you to the page where you can buy the course it's that easy way cheaper than compared to other uh, courses so you better guys get your courses right now well today we'll be focusing on the sneaker bot course yes it'll be releasing on january 2nd 2023 keep in mind the course is 149.99 because this is the hardest bot to make again with my promotional pr promotional code you guys will get 50 dollars off for the first five people getting the course so hurry up because i'm telling you this course will be humongous you guys will be able to log in uh submit an entry and go to checkout we're bypassing all the securities we'll be using selenium and not request based now let's get to the video to show you guys what the bot will do and just to show you guys that the bot does work all right now now welcome back to the video so again there's different uh releases that are very popular uh especially for sneakers and the main point of sneakers is to um, most of the jobs are mostly draws so you need to have multiple accounts to enter these draws with different accounts um, the hard part is that um, Nike has the best bot securities out there it's going to be one of the hardest sites to bot um, but first before the release you have to uh, log in on the page so we're going to do right that so if you saw uh, all the other videos of Foot Locker and Shopify, what we do is we use request based. This is basically we can do some get requests or post requests. So again, if you're new here on the channel, um, I'll just show you again uh, how and web request works. So basically our guy, um, we'll call it Bob, he wants to do a request to a certain server. Um, so he wants to send a request for the, the server to give us back uh, some data. And when we send stuff to the to the server this is called a post request and when we're getting um, data from the server uh, this is called a web request so we're going to do a get request so we're getting uh, information back so every time you load in uh, an html page then that's basically a get request so there's two ways we can actually bot there's one way where we can use selenium uh, but selenium is basically it will load the page it will click certain buttons and um, it will keep doing that this is a good uh, way to bot, but it's not very efficient because it's not that fast. Uh, we can use post request, which is the fastest ways to bot. Uh, you, post request will beat uh, a bot that just clicks buttons and stuff like that because it doesn't need to load the page and it can uh, do different stuff uh, than just clicking buttons like bypassing securities and um, it can do other stuff. So we'll try two ways to bot uh, sneakers. Uh, so the first way, uh, which is, well, I'll show you guys is through the post request so if you right click and you inspect um and you go on network um then you'll see the data that gets sent now i'll just show you guys the uh, way of how um sneakers can track your mouse your movement everything that you do you click it tracks it so every time i click it gets tracked and it and basically what this is the sensor data it basically um it's basically, um, uh, it basically constructs a big string with a bunch of data in it. Um, and then uh, when you send that data, the sensor data, you get an ABCK cookie. So that's basically the Akime. And then you'd, be, you'd use that for a post request to identify that you're not a bot. Uh, the only issue is that how do we generate this sensor data? Now that's the hardest part of post request because you have to find a way to create that. And when we see how to create that, it's just a bunch of lines of code that generates the sensory data. We can simplify this code with different softwares, but we're not gonna do this in this video. And we, we would have to go through thousands, th thousands of lines on how uh, that, that string was made. But that's not the only thing you have to do with post request. So let's say I would wanna put in my email. Okay, so put crazy at gmail.com. Again, my data is still being detected. 
I get a cookie which I have to use to do my post request. So when I send that, I get the D1. This is where the data is being sent with the payload being the data that you're trying to send to that server. Um, so here I put in crazy at gmail.com, that's my email. Now here, the hardest part is that when you send a request, there's different headers. Here we have a uh, different cookies and these cookies can be parsed to websites. They have to be generated through the scripts of the website, which is very expensive because most of them uses T, uh, TLS fingerprints, meaning that um, it's very hard to generate uh, that kind of data uh, through the headers. Um, there's a lot of services that do offer these kind of services, like different APIs to create uh, that sensor data and to create the Quesada um, cookies, but that becomes very expensive and it can go up to thousands of dollars just to have a perfect uh, request bot. Nike do update their sites a lot, but my method of today um, hasn't been changed for a while. So again, we get the response, and that's the response we should get when we do a successful uh, post request. So the challenge, password. Now, I will just show you guys that if you were just a normal user, new to uh, botting, and you would try to, you know, now that um, on, uh, on the post request, and I just made a, a quick simple sample of the payload, which we just saw was crazy at gmail.com. We know that's an application JSON because here, um, uh, here, I'll show you again. If you go on the content type, you see that the, the type of data, data we need to send to the server is application slash JSON. And again, we have the refer, a bunch of other cookies when we're sending that data which we don't have in this case um, because we don't know how to generate it. And to generate it, we have to, well, either reverse engineer the script or we can uh, run some APIs to do the job for us, but that comes very expensive. So again, I'll try to run the code and I'll show you guys that it will not work. Uh, sadly, I wish it was that easy, but their security is very good. So here again, again, you don't have permissions to access the server because we need certain cookies. That's why we're getting blocked when we try to do a post request. That's the main issue with the post request. Now, like I said, the second method we could do is we could use Selenium. So okay, let's use Selenium and see if that actually works. Um, now, I hate to split it to you guys, but it won't work because when we use uh, this type of drivers, um, you'll you'll get detected as a bot because um, Chrome will flag it to Nike that you are a bot. Um, there used to be this method with uh, Puppeteer, um, but they that method got patched uh, a year ago, where it basically bas you can basically use a headless uh, Chrome browser, Chrome browser, where you could bot Nike, but um, they're able to flag it with uh, the new updates that they added to their site. And I'll just show you guys uh, that it won't work with uh, with a Chrome driver. Sadly, it used to be. Nike used to be, um, you know, they used to allow uh, us to use Chrome drivers to bot their sites, but you know, with uh, the recent changes, uh, they won't allow you right now, which is sad, but uh, right, so it seems like it's not, okay. So here we try to log in, even then it says there's an error, right? So even then they can even detect that it's, uh, it's a bot. We'll try to go through the Nike and then try to log in. So when we try to log in on that site, you'll see that we'll get an error when we try to, to log in. Um, I'll just go and try to sign in, hopefully. All right, so I'll just put in, you know, crazy again at gmail.com and then I'll put like random white letters. And again, we get this error. We're unable to connect to our service right now. Please try again later. All right, so. The reason why, like, hey, like, why does it not work is because it gets flagged uh, as a bot when we open a Chrome driver. So that's why um, this method doesn't work. But, you know, with my uh, course, um, there's different ways and tweaks we can do to make it work. I'll just show you guys the response um, when we get here. So, again, 403. This is the, the same request, the same error we got using post request. We see that it was able to generate some cookies, 
but the sensor data, so the when it keeps tracking, um, this is not uh, a correct sensor data. That's why we get flagged as a bot. And again, the response that we get, so we don't get the response for submitting that kind of data, but um, it did not like uh, it did not like the way we send the data, which is normal because we can detect being detected easily. So. Um, I'll show you guys my bot uh, and show you guys that it actually works and we'll go through the code in the in the in the in the course on how the bot actually works uh, logging in and not being detected as a bot so if you guys want to get my course you can definitely get my course um, it's only 99.99 with the the code being applied there's only five people that are going to be selected for this kind of uh, this kind of courses so make sure to you know be the first one to use the promo code um, and we'll go through the course. There's three parts of the course. One part will be to log in. Second part will be to um, submitting an entry. And third part, well, you know, sometimes there's like shock drops. So this will actually add to cart and go to checkout. Uh, so like for your Nike, Panda, Dongs and stuff like that, this course will uh, cover all of this. So it will go in three parts. The first part will be released um, January 2nd so be be sure to to get that um, again if you have any questions support at truebot.ca uh, we just added a new email uh, more professionally let's say support support at truebot.ca email add to that email and uh, someone will uh, contact you if you have any questions for the AIO package and other courses but I highly suggest to getting the AIO package before the Nike but you can also get the Nike um, pack uh, package you'll not you'll have a a worry of uh, of botting. Um, again, the 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 code will be written in in Python. But now I will show you guys um, how the bot works live. And uh, yeah, just email me if you have any questions. So um, I'll see you guys later, and uh, I'll show you guys right now the bot uh, in action. All right. So now I will be running the program. So again, it uses Selenium to open the. Uh, browser and then we'll go on the Nike site to uh, red register um, but it will work the same way on the login page but I'm just showing you that uh, I can actually bypass the Akeme um, which is the hardest part once you've done that you should be good to go um, so now I'm just creating an account um, so yes yeah, so I'm just doing selenium right now um, with you know my method and it should be able to create in a second. Sometimes it takes a bit of time, but um, it bypasses the security. And then here we go. We were able to create an account, but it will work the same way for uh, logging in. And now we're just gonna wait just to show you. And here we go. We have just created an account. That's it.